Happy 2024. It's been a while. I'm sorry. Sometimes I can be pretty bad about dating social media, but here I am. The big thing that's currently going on in my life, it is the 3rd of January, and today marks the third poem that I've uploaded to my new Instagram account called 367 Project. Uh, it's a working title, but it's easy enough for people to wrap their head around. So if you would like a daily dose of poetry for all of 2024, go check it out. And I will tell you a little bit more about this project. But the Instagram is 367 Project, and you will find my name is clearly in the title. It'll be very easy to find. But I wanted to show you a little bit behind the scenes because it's pretty fun. I... I have this book right here. This is my, what I call the blue book, for lack of a better word. And it's all my notes. And it starts in March of 2023, where I started journaling about the inspirations behind the project, which incidentally is Bernd and Hella Becker, who are post-war German photographers. They did incredible work. You should look it up. I saw it at the uh, San Francisco Museum of Art. That was definitely one of my inspirations for this project. And I just wanted to read to you some sections out of here. I'll, I'll show you. I, I sketch out stuff. What is the general format of it? How many sonnets are going to be in each stanza? What do, you, what do I even call it? Is it a stanza, a canto? A lot of this was just me kind of struggling with how to figure all this out. Uh, but I got to this one page, and this is what inspired me to, to write. It's called Meaning, Purpose, Message. This project's overarching mission is to underscore connection. We are alone by our very nature, but we find meaning and value by connecting with others. We find connection through understanding others' perspectives, and we do that through art. Speaking plainly can be effective at expressing some of our experience to others, but it is not enough to truly communicate, to land meaning. We must communicate via alternate meanings, alternate modalities. Drama was once outlawed by the ancient Greeks because it was able to sway the human heart more effectively than mere logical rhetoric. Thus, the chosen medium for this project message is the music of words, that is, poetry. The feeling evoked from each sonnet in this piece should be related to connection in every way. The seeking of it, the bonding of it, the benefits and consequences of keeping it, and the inevitable loss of it. This whole thing is just... I've got a chart on how connection figures into everything. Um, I have lots of different iterations. It's, it's been very interesting developing this project over time. Uh, I have ideas on themes, on which kinds of themes, how to structure it in such a way that it actually makes sense and really is still evocative at an emotional level. There's a lot that's been going into this. Um, I... Um, I also documented my workflow because there's a workflow in order to get the, let me see if I can, here we go. This is a good one. Let's see. This is a chart for how I can actually box up the poems once they are at an, an exhibit. It's, no detail is too small to, to put in here. Anyway, that's a little bit behind the scenes with my blue book. And this is my Art Students League of New York, which I bought in June. And in it, I have each of the sonnets that I handwrite, I take pictures, I upload it to Instagram, and I include the drafts that I that I do for each of these poems as well. So it's it's quite the adventure. I hope that you are moved or at least curious enough. To, uh, to follow the account because there will be a new poem every day. And if I'm being perfectly truthful, I count on people following my account. It gives me a little dopamine hit that inspires me to keep doing this project because it's a big project and requires constant care and attention. And the more 
attention and comments that I get, it just inspires me to keep going. So I hope you follow for you, but I hope you follow for me too, because I, I really would appreciate it. The end plan, and I can talk more about this as time goes on, but the end plan is to have 367 English sonnets printed in their individual frames and mounted on a wall that will be about 12 feet tall and 26 feet wide. And the mat around the frame is going to have an image that is a mosaic that you can only see once all of them are on a single wall. So that's the vision. It's pretty ambitious. I call it the most ambitious poetry project in seven centuries because the last person to write this many sonnets as part of one piece wrote 366. Okay, that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the update and uh, stay tuned. Remember, it is uh, you need to follow 367 Project and I hope to see you there.